Yeah. Culinary arts program at the Tongue Point Job Corps Center in Astoria, Oregon, made a decision to stop using all cleaning chemicals in its program. Instead, they used home remedies like lemon juice, vinegar, salt, and fresh herbs from the garden. Uh, we have no dish detergents, no floor cleaners, no window cleaners, no chemicals of any kind. Our fish are right there, 75 feet away. We don't want to harm that beautiful environment we, we, that we are all part of. The center's proud to have a very green campus. They're eager to share their recipes and methods with other centers that want to cut chemical use. Uh, Colony Arts uh, uh, tried out for nearly a year different recipes till we came up with the ones that actually clean, we feel, better than any chemical uh, that you can possibly purchase. This is the tough part, because you gotta go down through a big main bone. Job Corps encourages students in their training achievement records, also known as TARS, to practice green principles, including buying locally. Very clearly they want us to buy local whenever possible. They want us to do, uh, to do the green thing. Yeah. This salmon was caught just a mile up river from Tongue Point by a local company and then sold to the center. Yeah, students are taught how to check and for quality. It's not as slimy as Thanks, um, unacceptable fish. Find him okay? It doesn't, no, find him. doesn't really have a fishy okay, smell. It's more of a fresh ocean smell. Students practice preparation. Dean, you did pretty darn good. And encouragement. And of course, students learn how to create mouth-watering desserts. These students are being prepared for great jobs. However, a few of Chef Harley's teaching philosophies could be questioned. Case in point. What I forgot to do was name it. Usually I name the fish before I do this to it. Kind of a personal thing that we're about to go through. So what are we going to name the fish? Henry. Huh? Henry. Henry? Okay, Henry it is. Well, there's Henry. Well, you probably won't find some of his teachings in the TARS, and future employers may have a few questions. But it's a guarantee when these students go home for the holidays and help mom in the kitchen, she will definitely raise an eyebrow. For example, they all decided a grand fish deserved a grand entrance. Mom's gonna be real impressed when her Thanksgiving bird makes that kind of an entrance. Yes, these students are having fun, but they're being prepared, trained to do their job the right way, and excited about their new careers. We're very fortunate to be located uh so close to a beautiful environment that we don't want to spoil.